Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss problem count prefix and suffix pairs. So in this problem, let's uh, firstly quickly read the problem and then we'll go forward the, with the approach. So the problem is that you are given a zero indexed array words. So this array is given. Let's define a Boolean function is prefix and suffix that takes two strings. Okay, this function will be taking two strings. Uh, this function will return true if string 1 okay is both a prefix and suffix of string 2 otherwise false so for example uh, if this two strings are given a b a so if we see these two strings are given a b a okay a b a and a b a b a okay a b a b a so we have to tell whether string 1 is both a suffix okay both a suffix and a prefix of a of this string 2 so what is a suffix suffix is that this aba is at the end of the string and prefix meaning that it is this aba is at the starting see starting of the string okay so s1 is both suffix and prefix of s2 but if you see these two strings, ABC is a prefix, but ABC is not a suffix of this string. Okay, so this will give false. We have to tell how many number of index pairs such that I and J, I is less than J are present for which word I and word J is true. Basically, word I is a suffix and prefix of word J. We have to tell that how many pairs are there, such pairs. Okay. So let's see how we can approach it. I hope you understood the problem. Just do one thing. First of all, go through these test cases and just uh, check how you like how the output is coming as four and two and all. First, check that. Okay. So now let's see how we can approach it. So this is very basic problem. Basically, what we need to find is that how many i comma j pairs are there, such that i is less than j, and a uh, word of i is a both suffix and prefix of word j okay this we need to check so what we will do basically we will have a nested loop in which we will go first to this we will just come we will just basically check all pairs okay we will check all pairs okay so firstly we will take this pair and this pair so this is i this is your j okay then j will move forward and we will have j here so then we will check this one and this one then similarly j will go forward and then we will check this one and this one so basically we are iterating to find all the pairs okay iterating all pairs so basically we'll be having nested loop so this is so clear that we will be having a nested loop to check all the pairs now we need to see how we are going to check that whether word of i is a suffix and prefix of word j or not. So let's say our i is a. Okay, let us uh, let us take this. So i is a b a and j is a b a b a. Okay. So i is your basically i index is one and j index is two. So word of i okay word of i is a b a and word of j is a b a b a okay all right now what we will do basically we will match so we need to just check whether this is a prefix and suffix okay of this string or not all right so first let's check if it is a prefix or not so we will take this string a b a and we have the other string a b a b a we will just simply iterate and check whether this whole thing is coming in the starting of this or not simple so we will have let's say uh, an index here an index here we will compare the characters okay a is same as a right we move forward then b is same as b we move forward okay 
then a is same as a we move forward now this string is finished and we wanted to check whether this is a prefix of this or not so since this is finished it means that it was a prefix it was a prefix so we will mark it as a prefix that this is a prefix of this string okay for example let's say here it was uh, in place of a let's say it was c then this c doesn't match with this a hence this will not be a prefix but since we had a here okay so it's a prefix so this is how we are checking prefix now let's see how we can check suffix same suffix we will be checking same way but what we will be basically doing in case of suffix is let's say we have to check this a b a is a suffix of this a b a b a or not okay so suffix meaning we have to start we have to check from back so what we will be doing is we will be comparing this last character with the last character of this so we have a here we have a here we go for one index back now we have b here we have b here we go one index back now we have a here we have a here we go one index back now since we have to check whether this is a suffix of this or not since this is finished it means that it was a prefix of this okay so we will mark suffix as true now if both prefix and suffix is marked as true we will return true because this aba is a prefix of this now let's suppose if here it was uh, here it was c now when it, we were checking this c with this a it will become they are not equal hence this will become false so suffix will become false that it's not a suffix okay so i hope you understood the approach we are basically we are going through all the pairs and for each pair we check whether it is a prefix and whether it is a suffix if it is both prefix and suffix we return true okay so yeah let's quickly see the code for this i have written code in python you can convert it to other language if you want so what we are going doing basically we are taken the we have taken the length of the words list and taken a count variable which we will be returning at the end we go through each pairs for i in range n for j in range i plus 1 we will start from i plus 1 and if it is a valid if words i is a suffix and prefix of word j if that is true we will increase the count okay now let's see what this function is doing basically i have taken a two boolean variables if prefix false suffix false uh if the length of word 1 is greater than word 2 so obviously uh for example let's say if you have a word like a b c d and the this is your word 1 and word 2 is a b so obviously this cannot be prefix and a suffix of this so we will simply return false from here okay this is a uh, you can say edge case then firstly we are checking here we are checking checking for prefix okay so we take two indexes i j i will be like iterating for uh, so here i will be this pointer and j will be this point starting okay so we will be uh, until it is less than w1's length that is i this i is not reaching till the end, end of the length we will be comparing the characters of both and if it is equal we just increment the indexes otherwise you can just remove this continue from here also doesn't require is not required else if they are not equal just break from there and if you reach to the length of the uh, if you reach at the end end of w1 it means like if you reach end of w1 it means that this whole string was there in this one so you can just mark prefix as true okay this is to check prefix then this code is to check for checking for suffix okay so here we start from the back and until it's greater than zero we compare the two characters and if they are equal we just sticky uh, move forward the index like backwards and uh, if we reach till the like if i has become less than zero it means that we have reached here okay so it means that this string has matched here like the strings 
so it prefix will be true and at last we will be returning is prefix and if prefix basically this means that if both are true true and true means it will give true if any of them is false it will return false and if both are false obviously then also it will return false so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, if you submit it it's working okay so the time complexity for this approach let's see that basically we are iterating on each pair so that will be n square okay and here if you see we are iterating on the uh, length of the w1 okay length of w1 so we can say like what will be let's say that length will be some constant which is y uh, y okay so it will be n square into y this much of length if you see here it's written that uh, words of i length is 10 okay so it's not a very big test case that's why this approach is working okay and space complexity we are not using any extra space so that space it will be o of 1 so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubts if you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.